So we're going to start uh, this watercolour, this picture this week, of a um, lovely view in the Lake District of at uh, Moncaster Castle. So um, we're going to do what I call a big wash at the start and we're going to start with cerulean in the sky. So we're just going to wash this in Make sure you've made up enough, doesn't want to be too dark. And just place it in position and move on. So I'm sort of putting, keeping it to the area where there's blue in the picture. Then I'm going to rinse my brush out and I'm going to put water next to that. Be very careful that you don't put more thick water uh, than was thickness for the blue. Otherwise you will get a watermark going upwards because remembering that water cannot have fat water against thin water. It has to even up. And if it even up, evens up, it will take the pigment ahead of it. And that's what causes your watermark. Now, I can darken this later if I need. Um, my mix was possibly a little bit pale. So I could just jiggle that a little bit. And then I'm going to go on and I'm going to come in this side with a little bit of green. Also, this is sap green so touching the edge of that and here where the hillsides start I'm going to put a mix of ultramarine and alizarin crimson so we're not being that neat to our edges it doesn't matter keeping them very pale again like normal dab on your tissue if you're getting an excess at the top just dab on your tissue very lightly and use the tip of the brush to run along that top edge because my my paper is beginning to cockle and the paint is running up. While this is still wet, we're going to move this green down this side. So we're going to keep the paint moving fairly evenly. So we've got paint fairly at a fairly even height both sides. Going to take a little bit of brown here where we've got this shaped hedge. And again, you're not trying to fill it in neatly. And we've got the shadow here. So I'm just using my brown, just making sure that I'm putting it on nice and wet. Go back to your paint as often as you need. And this area over here, so this is still wet, comes in with green and just fills in. There will, will be other colours later. Keep going back to your paint. Remember, keep the brush full of paint at all times. Otherwise, you get streak lines and then touch the blue, the brown there. And very gently, I've marked with my uh, pencil roughly where those shadows are. So I'm going to introduce a little bit of tone there. Um, and there might be a little bit of brown here. But the main thing is don't go back and fiddle. Use your policy, don't go back and fiddle. And again, just dab on your tissue and take off any excess that you see on the sides. Do not go back and, and fiddle with any of it. It doesn't matter what's happening up here. Just leave it be. And that's your first.